Contemplation is really simply an openness to God at every moment and deep peace. And when you say experience of the mysteries of Christ, it, it just means a deep realization in the very depths of our being that God has chosen and loves us from all eternity, that we really are children, his children, and we really are loved by God, that there really is a personal bond, and he really is present. This is so simple. Thomas Merton writes in this book, and I love this line, <clears throat> edited out wonderfully by a friend of ours uh, for a beautiful book, Merton Essential Writings. So after that beautiful, profound little phrase and paragraph, he says, this is so simple that there's no need to make a commotion about it. <laughs> Hi, my friends. This is uh, Dan Riley taking a little time with you in our, our uh, Holy Week message to share with you through this uh, beautiful uh, page that Shannon puts together that um, you and I are not right now called to make a commotion. <laughs> but doesn't mean we're supposed to remain silent. Commotion is very different than speaking out or speaking up. But the way we are able to do that, either in our political lives or personal or family lives, comes from this deep listening, this wonderful depth of relationship where you and I know we're chosen. And that's what Merton is really commenting on here. He's trying to help you and I hear that to be a contemplative is to come to this awareness of the abiding presence in our lives of God now and always. It's an eternal presence. It's today's presence. It's this present moment. And it's so wonderfully plain. <laughs> no commotion. It's where you and I are right now, and in some ways it's most real, in the break of my words, where we have a chance to rest and experience this presence. I would welcome you through Holy Week to take your time wherever you might, and without a commotion, sit down and hear God's word. As it comes to you, or possibly off of one of the readings from Holy Week, or your favorite book or scripture passage that might help you have this sense of this God who has chosen us and will always choose us and will never go away. And in fact, in Jesus' dying and rising, takes us home to the Father so that you and I will have eternal life in God with the Son and the Holy Spirit and all those other wonderful women and men who are doing their best right now, as you and I are, to uh, not make a commotion out of our lives, but to speak the word, the word of love, as best we can, when we can, to live practices of that, to live practically, to live daily, <laughs> and to speak up and speak out. Uh, but there's not a commotion about this one. God's love is so big and real, it's regular. It's blessed ordinariness. It's exceptionally wonderful. It's extraordinary in the simple, plain moment of right now. A blessed Holy Week from your mountain community and family and all of us who will be here Please pray for us as we pray for you, for our country, our world, and those in very particular needs. Peace be with you always.